Hi, I'm Ryan McCaffrey with Official Xbox Magazine. I'm joined by our features editor, Kevin Smith. Hello. And we are check today. We're checking out the first 30 minutes of Kingdoms of Amalur: Reckoning, the uh, large-scale open-world sort of. It's in the vein of the Elder Scrolls. -ish. It's a massively single-player role-playing game, as I would call it. And we've literally just pressed start. We're showing you the first half hour of the game. This is the opening intro cinematic. Powerful enough to twist even the eternal. Kevin, something tells me this might be a fantasy theme Looks game. a little, little, <laughs> little, little, little fantasy. <laughs> yeah, little. We're off to a good start. I like that. But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people. It's interesting to it note, Kevin, as uh, you and I are both major league baseball fans. Ha ha ha! There. Uh, this this game is actually developed at 38 Studios in Maryland, which uh, thir 38 is was founded and is owned by Kurt Schilling, the former All-Star Major League Baseball pitcher, and I might add 2001 World Series co-MVP for my Arizona Diamondbacks. Big Shill. Yes, when he teamed with Randy Johnson to form the single greatest one-two punch in Major League Baseball history. That was an amazing season. They, those guys were unstoppable. Almost amazing is the 2004 Boston army. Red Sox win. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an amazing feat, yes. Uh, they were both equally. The yes. Of magic. Your guys, the Red Sox. By the laws of life and death. Uh, I'll tell you what, I really like the art vibe going looks on nice. in this game. Yeah, it's extraordinarily colorful. It's uh, almost, you know, you could maybe almost say almost World of Warcraft like. Yeah. It's just very bright, vibrant colors. Distinct. Sort of, yeah, exaggerated uh, player characters and, and creatures. It's not cartoony, and it's certainly far from realistic, but it's got a real distinct thing to it. Now, the, you know, the thing about this game is they've... They've been pointing out the whole way how it's got a lot of uh, sort of interesting talent working on it. Oh, yeah. am I supposed to pick up the controller and get up now? No. Okay, not yet. <laughs> kind of thought it looked like that for a second. Um, they hired, uh, I believe it's Ken Ralston, I think is his name, was a designer from Bethesda. From right, the, so they got him from the Elder Scrolls uh, side of things. It's um, the art, speaking of, we've just been talking about the art, is Todd McFarlane. Oh, wow. And the art for this game. Okay. And I feel like there's one or two other sort of name, uh, name people in sort of fantasy and video game circles that were brought in to work on this game. All right, looks like we're in the engine now. So I know, so we're dead. That's the point. You're, you start this game dead. What do you okay. Think this one is that Alpha, the run, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Grand? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. Okay, I think we're supposed to be dead. I think we're emphasizing the deadness. Go on and pull Got that point shit. across. All right. <laughs> Need to be in our report, one way or the other. Even maybe a little oh, bit of fable go. in yeah, the art style, bit. right? All right, so we're into the character creator. We're gonna make this fast because we want to just get right in the game. I like warriors, so uh, I'm gonna say. But we got warrior. We've got, let's see, swords and daggers. Locke looks like he's sort of a thief rogue guy. I cannot even pronounce these. Little elf, I'm not elf, even going to try. Guy, yeah. Um, yeah, so. Los Jostafar. We've got, uh, yeah, we've got a spellcaster here. Uh, actually, this guy's the real. Sp sp what do the girls look like? Let's check them out. We've got a female warrior. Female Varani. Oh, she's freaky. She looks like she came back from the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> And she Ooh. looks like she came back from uh, the S and M club. <laughs> All right, we'll just go. We'll go. Let's go with a female warrior. Let's a do female it. Female Almain. Sounds we'll get good. right in. Uh, ah, so we're now picking a patron bonus. We want to worship the god of war. How about that? Sounds good. Presets. You know, some you know, some very interesting varieties here. Let's take. Uh, oh, Aldwin looked crazy. All right, we'll go with Sinead O'Connor. Yeah, yeah. Sinead O'Connor for the block. You know, Hollywood Squares. Uh, okay, we can customize the crap out of this. We will not waste time doing that. Lipstick intensity, I saw. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Here we because go. And here we are. We're dead. I like the blood streaks of our own you know, fingerprints on business. the face. That is um, clearly didn't help, though, because we're dead. That's true. All right, then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. You know, if you're if you're 
English, it's not moving. your career prospects go up a lot because there's just there's stars. always video game voiceover work there waiting really for you. Like every video game has has uh, British Unless voiceovers. It seems. Fantasy ones especially. Yes. We're done. Put her with the others. You make a pretty good living. I. Nope. Oh, we're gonna pick a save. Where do we want to? Oh, we're naming our character. Great. We'll yeah. go with the default. That's good. I should note that uh, this is our first. This is either of our first time playing the beginning well, of the game. I actually have played a bit of this game for a preview time. on oxmonline.com, which you can look up. It's a, uh, but it was for the later levels. It was like f several hours into the game. So if you want to kind of see how the game progresses later, look up that preview. But here, yeah, we're just doing literally the first 30 minutes now. And, okay, we're, we're back from the dead. This is a good start. This is uh, how I woke up this morning. <laughs> Actually, that's how my wife wakes up every day because I'm like a corpse. I, I have a real difficult time getting out of bed in the morning. Look at that. Barefoot too, so you're just you're stepping just on like rotting into, teeth, and yeah. that doesn't feel good between <laughs> your toes. You got the flies. Oh, I would be throwing up repeatedly right <laughs> now. I'd like to add if I just came back from the dead and woke up on a pile of cor rotting corpses. Barefoot. <laughs> yeah, barefoot. <laughs> Here we go. All right. <coughs> so let's try and get the heck out. Let's take a quick look around. It's a cool looking cave. Yeah. Good place to dump bodies. Yeah, nobody's ever going to. Who's going <laughs> to come down here? I'd like to point out that I normally play with my camera inverted, so if, if, if things go up instead of down and down instead of up, that's my... That's my excuse. Uh, I think we just dump someone into the furnace. Yeah. Uh, well, so we got it here. happens around here. We're gonna rust this cool. We'll take that. All right. I would like the weapons. Equip. Perfect. There we go. Let's go. Okay. That is not the correct way to go. <laughs> this is. Is there an unwritten rule that says every fantasy game ever must start in a dungeon? Yeah. I <laughs> Essentially. It's in the old playbook. Yeah. It's like in football where you script the first 15 plays. <laughs> like we're going to script the first 15 minutes of every... Every fantasy role-playing game, just like so giant rats. rats. Also, there we go. yeah. Now it's officially an RPG. <laughs> Pretty easy to take down. On purpose, no doubt. Mm. Build up a little confidence. There you go. Help anybody! Hmm. What are you, kind sir? Man, I just got woke up off from being dead. And here now I have to fight people? Talk about a bad day. Tough day. Wait, was it B and... Yeah, B and... Okay. Hey, there's no jump in this game. Oh, really? That's a little strange. I'm finding that a little weird. Alright. A little... No, the combat's very Fable-like. At least my initial oh, impression of so it is. Far. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along, I, well, I just, <laughs> Paul, on the slab, you, you were dead. That was it someone else. Worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. Doesn't seem that expressive in the facial area. <laughs> I'm not. No, no, clearly not 
Not anymore, but you were. The well of souls remade your hmm. body. All right, so we've been we woken up by the well of souls, huh? The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. Maybe my soul is having an awesome time somewhere, <laughs> and your stupid well just put it back in my body, and where I woke up on a big pile of corpses. Uh, all right, let's find out who this guy is. Well of Souls is his life's work. The two this guy's voice sounds real familiar, too, like he's been in 6,000 video games and or cartoons. I'm telling you, that's the dream career. I wish I, I wish I could be doing that. You just sit in a recording studio. Don't give up the dream. Yeah. If anybody out there wants to hire me, I'm pretty good. Uh, all right, so I think the the blue is sort of the quest-related thing. Right. Let's ask about that. study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. You know, I think he, that voice might be, he might be the voice of the mask from uh, sp the new, the latest Splatterhouse game. That's what he sounds, uh. I may be wrong about that, but I may be right also. Anyway, all right, forget about this guy. Let's, let's roll. Let's get, we got a, we got a <coughs> ticking clock here. Yeah. We, we are contractually ob obligated to only show you the first 30 minutes of the game. Let's uh, loot a chest. Take that. Um, okay. What am I, what am I doing? Um, was I following him or what? He said pointed somewhere. Yeah. Oh, we can follow there the oh, we upper right corner of the screen there. there. We've go. got a mini map with a an indicator directing us where we're heading. Kind of them to just open the gates. Uh oh. No, that's not. So I think we've just destroyed the Well of Souls so that Oops. no one else can be resurrected. Um, that works out for us. That uh, tutorial text seems to be stuck on our screen. Again, I'd like to emphasize, this is not a final version of the game. Uh, equipped, equipped, let's equip that. There we go. Ah, perfect. There we go. All yeah. set. In fact, you know what, while we're in here. Do we get any armor yet? No. Let me just do there that. Just pardon me, folks. And then why don't we just tr throw down a quick save game in case anything bad happens Here to we us. Go. All right, back to it. Let's see if we can find our way out of here. But yeah, obviously the, um, you know, so the art style is a little, little World of Warcrafty, a little fably. But certainly the third-person perspective, too, gives it a little bit of a fl uh, fable flavor. Yep. I'll say, try saying that ten times fable fast. Fable flavor, people. <laughs> is this the yeah, only there. perspective you have access to, right? Yes, a, this is uh, an unlike Skyrim where you can switch back and forth if you want to. Right. Fantasy game uh, trope number 6322 <laughs> is smashable crates. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at the weapon rack. Take that. We can certainly equip it. Wait. Easily done. Do you hear something? Hmm. Cool. Healing potion. Take it all. <laughs> Guess we're gonna brawl. Satisfying combat so far, yeah. actually. I gotta say, yeah. Pick up his longbow. There we go. I don't think I really necessarily want to equip it. I'm playing a warrior, but I guess it's the secondary weapon, just in case. The just in case weapon. Right. The in case of emergency break glass weapon. Or in this case, the we need to teach you how to use it weapon. So please equip it. Seemed like it worked out. Yeah. Let's see how many s crates we can smash in the, our 30 minute time limit. But this game's out in February, by the way, which uh, seems, I don't know what you think, Kevin, this seems like a pretty smart release window, because it's a good, like, three months after Skyrim. People will probably 
start being Hunt. done with Skyrim yeah. and ready for something else. Ready for something new, yeah. yeah. So it seems like a, a smart play. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> Simple slashes, and they go right down. Who's the uh, Who's this guy following? Oh, same guy. Like, hey, wait, who are you? Oh, wait, we met already. Daggers, huh? Well, I'm not a rogue, though. Yes, yeah, so I don't really want to equip them. That text isn't going to go away until I equip him, though, is it? That uh, yeah, like so, it <laughs> has to be. You have to do it to get it to go away. That's. We really, really want you to try this. Please. Yeah. Like, look, I'm a warrior, all right? <laughs> all right, we got rid of it. Oh, there you go. More text. Oh, you're not dead? Oh, I was supposed to use the daggers. Oh, uh, yeah, to be uh, stealthy. <laughs> I'm not playing the way the game wants me to play in this going early rogue. part. Yeah, pardon the pun. Yeah. I, no, the, <laughs> I'm going rogue by not going, going rogue, rogue as go. they wanted me to do. Oh, looks like a battle. Oh, That battle's yeah. over. It's a good battle. Yeah, nice work. Okay. Uh, oh, that's what I was trying to do is pick up this uh, treasure sack. Some gold there. I'm, yeah, I'm liking this art style a lot. Yeah, this is cool. I really, really like the color. Yeah. A lot of great color in here. It's true. Cool. Magic ability. I'll loot another chest. You know, it's funny, Kevin. When I first heard about this game and read about it, uh, before I actually saw it, I kind of thought it was going to be an Elder Scrolls clone. Right. But it's really not. No, it's not. It's pretty obvious in the first few minutes. Yeah. Um, not only artistically, you know, the the but the combat is yeah. is very much very different. Uh, very much its own thing. Looks like you can collect about just unlimited things too. <laughs> yeah. and you're not weighted down. I hope not. No. Ah, here we go. Fantasy well, trope number six million three hundred twenty-two. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think th this ranks a little higher on the list. Spiders are like number two on the list. <laughs> Got to have some giant spiders. <laughs> that is disgusting. I never need to see another one of those again. Yeah. Except, of course, we know we'll be seeing like six thousand more of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have to burn things. Just with staff. The staff. You just go. All right. Yeah. How about if we do the, sta oh, the uh, staff as the secondary weapon? Very tutorially, tutorially. Yes. So far. Well, that's a cool effect. That was neat. Yeah. I like Can that. you just run around burning webs? Presumably. Yeah. Nice. A power attack. Duck out of the way. I oh, just the poison. Yeah, does the fire do That's anything to them? There we go. A little bit. What did he? A little bit. Yeah. Not much. Mm. Stick to the sword. Yeah. That's cool. There we go. That is cool. That's a cool effect. Yeah. I could see how playing a mage in this game could be fun if all the uh, spell effects were that good. Right. Ugh, I gotta duck and roll. And roll out of the way. Ugh, oh, not timing that very well. I like how Enzo's just sort of waiting for you to... <laughs> just waiting around. Uh, hey, could uh, you hurry Hand it up a little bit? Pockets, just... Crates. Keeping the crate industry in business by breaking <laughs> all these. You have to make more. Oh, I've, 
come back from the dead and I'm gigantic. <laughs> I'm like 13 feet tall. Oh. This is where we part ways. Ah. Take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawafa here. I suppose these might think that be oh cool a persuasion skill I like that yeah. it's always fun to manipulate people with dialogue op, uh, conversations mm -hmm. let's let's back out of this I can we can't risk you getting killed your proof that the well can work don't you realize what that means just keep going past the top of the well Hughes will be there in his study I'll see you on the outside all right forget your wealth of stuff. We're just, we're bailing. Get out of here. Try and get out to the outside world. Oh, look at that. Pulls the camera in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Temporarily, though. Is this a... Is this a teleporter? Or? Yeah, nope. Interested. It's yeah. just a cool thing to look at. <laughs> What else can we say? Kurt Schilling was acquired by the Arizona Diamondbacks for four players in 2000. None of those four players really amounted to much. No. I remember uh, one, the, the most productive one was Vicente Padilla, who had himself a decent major league career with Philly and then uh, Texas, right. I believe. But they sent uh, they, one of the guys they traded, I remember, was Travis Lee, who was the first ever pick by the expansion Arizona Diamondbacks. Supposed to be a prodigy of a first baseman. Never, unfortunately, ma really amounted to much in the major leagues. So yeah. that was a good trade for Arizona. Of course, when they traded him to Boston, they got fleeced. <laughs> that was a terrible yeah, pretty, deal. Yeah. Well, no apologies here. <laughs> I was glad that he helped break the curse of the Bambino. <laughs> Turn from the dead? Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. <laughs> a little bit. I am Vomerus yeah. Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the well of souls. The I hate to break it to you, but somebody just blew that sucker up. Whoops. <laughs> 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 Everyone that's good in this game so far is tiny. So much we might learn from one another. Yeah, that's... Is Except that? you. <laughs> Maybe I'm not good. Yeah. Maybe we're not good. Maybe I, not. Let's find out what's going on. Too much to explain right now. The Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not <laughs> be able to save you. Do you have a Kleenex for my face? There's blood on it. I can assure that it's only success is safe. All right. Uh, let's go. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you, you're tall, bald. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the hair thing. It's, it's throwing me off. <laughs> Fascinating. Simply a st I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow. Ass cam. Uh, yes, uh, as I was saying, I'm not sure what. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached the lab. Oh no! No, come on! That guy held me out. Ouch! If this is We've supposed to make to me hate our enemy, now. it's working. Quickly! <laughs> Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Aga. He's a friend, and he may be able to. Is this guy about to die? No matter what else, stay alive. Yeah. Oh yeah! Stay alive, unlike Whoa. me. Oh wow! Do it, I'm badass. Diversion. Let's bail. Ah, oh, excellent. Always appreciate the sprint feature Serious. in games like this. Definitely. Ouch. Ooh. Down to about half health now after taking a boulder to the head. What? Sit down. 
Oh. <laughs> About a little fire, Scarecrow. <laughs> Good music too. I yeah. Like the score. It's yeah. It got, a, it got a lot of neat production values in this game so far, and the gameplay feels pretty solid. I gotta say. And I've heard that this game's supposed to be similar to Elder Scrolls in one respect. It's supposed to be enormous, okay. like 100 hours plus. Wow. If you want it, if you want to put that much into it. Well, it does look pretty polished. So. I'll say. Yeah. Rock trauma. Oh dear. How do I get out of the way of that if I can't jump? Don't move. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's very Fable-like combat. So I think that's the main thing I'm taking away from this so far, Kevin, is that if you were expecting this to be just an Elder Scrolls clone. It's definitely not. Yeah. Uh, which is a good thing, I think, because why try to out Elder Scrolls the Elder Scrolls? Right, at this point. Uh, it's Yeah, it's very much, it feels a lot more sort of like a more grandiose version of Fable. Mm. And I'm liking that. I mean, I love Fable. And I'm liking how this combat is going. Get out of the way. Do we know if it's just single players or co-op? It or? is a single player only okay. game, yes. Okay. Oh, got him good there. Man, he's got a lot. Oh, thank you for That's a tutorial I appreciate right yeah. there. I was just noting how little health he seemed to have. Oof. Oh, we're making good progress now. Weakening. So I'm mashing the X button. Oh, he's going to get one more shot in. I'll just stay. I'll just, he's, uh, you can punch Ooh. me now. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to kill you. So, A little finisher. Power. Oh, that's cool. Did you see that? It was a quick time. Okay. Yeah, if I could mash the Y button enough, it would give me an experience bonus on the kill. Yeah. That's a nice touch. Yeah. Can we loot him? No. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Squire's ring. Some gold. Digging it. Take it all. Yeah, you bet. Let's take one quick peek at the outside world, and then I think uh, that'll be about the first 30 minutes of the game. Mm. Convenient how that worked out. Yeah. That it was essentially the first dungeon. A little taste. We certainly could have taken longer in there, though. I mean, we breezed right through character yeah. creation. Yeah. Uh, we didn't really take a lot of time to look around and and smash all the crates no. and loot all the bodies. No time for exploring. But it looks like Mr. Schilling might have a pretty good game on his hands here. Yeah, not here. too bad. And I'll tell you what. That does look <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, just like Elder Scrolls. It's, it's a big thing in, in the Elder Scrolls games. When you first walk out in the outside world, mm -hmm. it's always a, a jaw-dropping scene. This is great. Look yeah. at this. Again, really the lush. real yeah, the color is phenomenal. Yeah. I like the uh, gold and the god rays there, yep. the sun filtering through the trees nice audio mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's really dead pretty. person on the ground that so doesn't really help that, but yeah, yeah. yeah very it's super fantasy ooh alright achievement reborn always appreciated too and now I think I can go wherever I want let's take a quick look at the map if we can ah nothing unlocked yet mm. oh there we go world map so we've got a lot. There's a lot here. Oh my! Look at that. Multiple islands. Looks Look like. at that. We've yeah. Plenty of meat to chew on in yep. this game. Well, there you go. This, this was a real worthwhile look, Kevin. I, yeah. I again, I sort of came in with Elder Scrolls the expectations. Yeah. And I suspect a lot of people might be in the same boat. They might, again, might be thinking, wow, it's just, you know, it's an Elder Scrolls clone. Right. For better or for worse. Yeah. But it's actually not. No. It's very much not. It's uh has its own separate identity. It yeah. Like. So uh, look for this game. I think it's early February sometime. It's due out. Or we'll have continuing coverage on OXMOnline.com. Uh, again, um, yeah, check out our, our high-level preview from when they, they let me play for a few hours uh, somewhat recently. 
and but it was much further into the game. So we've we that was nice to kind of get a look at the the very beginning. Yeah. And that's it. So for yeah. Kevin Smith, yeah. I'm Ryan McCaffrey. Thanks for tuning in. Join us on oxmonline.com for more on Kingdoms Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Uh, although it's not going to win any awards for easiest to pronounce name. It sort of <laughs> doesn't doesn't roll off the tongue very well, <laughs> does it? But uh, yeah, for more on Amalur, check out oxmonline.com. And thanks for watching. Thank you.